solving some of the problems on uh, applications of uh, Zener diode would surely give us uh, some more details on the working of the Zener diode and uh, more clarity about the Zener diode. Going to uh, first of its kind uh, where we have all the values which are fixed that is uh, input voltage is fixed the series resistance is also fixed at 1 kilo ohm the Zener voltage is 10 volts and the uh, load resistance is fixed at uh, 1.2 kilo ohm we need to determine the output uh, voltage V0 the Zener current and the power of the Zener diode we also have to find out all these values of uh, V0, IZ and VZ at uh, different values of uh, the load resistance. Initially we have to find this at uh, RL equal to 1.2 kilo ohm and then we have to repeat this with change in the load resistance uh, at 3 kilo ohms. Let's start a problem uh, considering the first value of uh, load resistance when RL is equal to uh, 1.2 kilo ohm one thing we know, need to know here is that both the input voltage the value of input voltage and the load resistance is going to affect the voltage across the zener so what we need to find out is you remove the zener diode from its position and we have to calculate this voltage across the ter two terminals of the zener diode to calculate the voltage across the Zener diode, uh, we remove this and you apply KVL and we get an expression for V. Uh, to keep it simple, we know that this voltage V is nothing but the voltage across the load resistance RL. So we have the voltage is equal to uh, the input voltage multiplied by the load resistance divided by the total resistance. So V is nothing but V in into RL upon R plus RL. By this, we have to find out the voltage across the Zener diode. If this voltage happens to be greater than a VZ, then the Zener diode will be in the on state and thereby it will be acting like a supply having the voltage of a VZ. If it is less than, if this voltage is less than the Zener voltage and then the Zener diode will be in the off state, it will be in the same state as we see over here. So substituting the value of VI, RL, R and RL, we calculate the value of V at RL is equal to 1.2 kilo ohm as 8.727 volts. So now we see that the voltage V is less than Vz. If voltage V is less than Vz, the Zener diode will be in the off state. It will be open and therefore we have to further find out what will be the V0 output voltage, what will be the Zener current and what is the Zener power. So it is clear from this circuit that we already have determined the voltage V across the RL now V0 is nothing but equal to V that will be equal to 8.727 volts and since the Zener diode is in the off state there will not be any current flowing in through the Zener so the Zener current IZ will be 0 amperes and also since IZ is 0 VZ which is the product of VZ and IZ will also be equal to 0 watts. Let's now find out what exactly happens to the circuit if the load resistance is changed to 3 kilo ohm. Again, we have to open the Zener diode here and we have to determine this voltage. And that voltage, we are going to find it with the help of this formula. The substitution is going to give us V value to be 12 volts. Now that we have determined the voltage across the Zener is going to be 12 volts, the equivalent of the Zener will be a power supply which will be having a voltage of Vz that will be 10 volts. This is purely because the voltage that comes across the Zener diode is greater than 12 volts that is going to put the Zener diode into the on state and in the on state the Zener diode will simply act like a power supply 
of uh, constant voltage of 10 volts. Now, if this is the case, if we, this is the equivalent circuit, the output voltage is nothing but equal to Vz and that is going to be 10 volts. And we have determined the ten, uh, output voltage now. We also have to find out what is uh, the Zener current and the Zener uh, power. So we can simply find it with the help of this formula. We know that if we apply KCL to this particular node, the current which is coming here is going to split across the Zener diode as well as the load. So we have to find out what is this current. We can find it out and we can also find out the load current and thereby we can find out what the Zener current is. First, to find out this current, which is nothing but the current flowing through the RS, we find out the voltage across this resistance that is Vi minus Vz. The voltage on this terminal is the input voltage. The voltage on this terminal is a Vz. So the potential difference divided by this resistance is going to give us the current IR. So Vi minus VL, VL is Vz now, divided by RS is 6 milliamperes, which is the current here that has to split across this and the Zener diode. The load current, since we know what is the voltage across the load resistance, which is 10 volts now, and the load resistance is 3 kilo ohm, uh, the substitution of uh, VL and RL is going to give us the load current to be 3.3 milliamperes. And therefore, IZ is nothing but the difference between IR and IL, which is 2.67 milliamperes. And finally, finding out the uh, power dissipation of the Zener diode, the product of IZ and VZ is nothing but is 26.7 watts. Now here's a problem on uh, line regulation where we have to find out the range of the input voltage that is going to keep the Zener diode in the on state. Uh, from the previous problem, uh, I explained that the state of the Zener diode, that is whether it is going to remain in the on state or off state, it is being decided by the input voltage as well as the load resistance. Now, here we have to find out the input voltage that is going to keep this Zener diode in the on state. So, going through some of the formulae that we may have to use uh, in uh, this case, Vi is equal to Vr plus Vz, that is the applied voltage is going to split across this resistance which is Vr and uh, it is also going to split across the Zener diode but this is going to be constant and we have to set the value of V in such that this will be in the on state and this will be having a constant voltage of Vz. So we can further uh, go a little in detail with this expression where VR is the product of IR and RS. Now it's easier to find out what is IR at different levels of uh, VI and IR from the circuit that is if we apply the Kirchhoff's current law at this particular node IR is the sum of IZ and IL. Why this expression is important because the increase or decrease in the voltage is going to increase and decrease IR respectively. But the minimum value of input voltage should be such that IZ is greater than IZK. Only then the Zener diode will be in the on state. If I increase input voltage, which is going to increase the IR, that is further going to increase IZ. The maximum value of IZ can reach up to IZM. It should not exceed beyond that. That is going to uh, break down the Zener. A permanent breakdown will uh, cause the Zener diode to uh, Zener diode. Uh, an increase in IR is going to increase in IZ, but IL is going to remain constant because V0 and RL both are constant. So the value of V in minimum is when IR is minimum. And we can find out IR minimum when the Zener current is minimum. The value of Zener current is given. IL we can find out which is simply the ratio of V0 and RL. 
and also the maximum value of input voltage is such that when ir is maximum the maximum value of ir is nothing but the sum of iz m and il so these two formulae of ir minimum and ir maximum are straightforward from this formula that is ir is equal to iz plus il when iz is iz k that is minimum value of zener current ir will be ir minimum and substituting that over here it is going to give us v in minimum and ir will be ir max when iz is iz m and substituting the value of ir in this expression we are going to get the maximum value of v in uh, v in so all that we need to find out is v in minimum and v in max for which we need to find out ir minimum and ir max so having all these formulae uh, we just need to do the substitution now uh, to determine the ir minimum ir maximum and thereby we can find out v in minimum and v in a maximum so in order to find all these parameters first we need to find out what is il because we have to find out ir minimum for which we have to know what is izk and il first so to determine il which is nothing but the ratio of v0 and rl or v0 is vz so 20 by 1.2 kilo ohm is going to give us the load current of 16.66 milliamperes the variation in input voltage is not going to affect this value the variation in, in input voltage is just going to vary iz accordingly uh, the minimum value of zener current is uh, given directly in the uh, problem as 1 milliampere. We are not given with the maximum value of zener current, but we are given with the maximum power dissipation. So we can find out the maximum zener current just by dividing PZM by IVZ. So that is going to be 60 milliampere. Now that we have the value for IZK and IZM, we can find out the minimum value of IR. So that is the sum of um izk and il so that comes out to be 17.66 milliamperes we can also now find out ir max which is sum of izm and il so that is 76.66 milliamperes so ir minimum and ir maximum is what we have found so to find out v in minimum substitute for ir minimum multiplied by rs plus vz is v in minimum similarly uh, that is uh, 23.88 volts similarly v in maximum is ir max that is 76.66 milliamperes multiplied by rs that is 220 ohm plus 20 volts of zener so that is going to be 36.86 volts here is a case of load regulation where we have to find out the range of rl uh, that is going to keep the zener diode in the ohm state uh, in this case the input voltage is constant and it is uh, 25 volts and this constant input voltage is going to give a constant uh, current ir but the variation in rl is obviously going to vary il and in turn it is also going to uh, vary iz if i reduce the value of a load resistance it is going to increase this load current uh, and therefore it is going to reduce the zener current for the zener diode to be in the on state which is the condition the zener diode can go to a minimum of izk that is 2 milliamperes on the other hand if i increase the value of load resistance it is going to reduce il and it is going to increase iz for the zener diode to be in the on state the zener current can go up to a maximum of 26 milliamperes so looking at all the possibilities here the Kirchhoff's current law at this particular node is IR equal to IZ plus IL I had to find out the minimum and maximum value of load current at the different values of the zener current so IL is nothing but rearranging this I get IR minus IZ when the load resistance is minimum it is going to lead to a maximum load current and the maximum load current should be such that the zener current will reach to a minimum of izk 
Therefore, I can find out the maximum value of load current, which is IR minus IZK. That is, the load current is maximum when the Zener current is a minimum. If Zener, if this goes beyond that, the Zener diode is going to be into the off state. So the ratio of V naught and I L max is going to give us the minimum value of load resistance. Similarly, if we increase the load resistance, when RL is maximum, it is going to reduce the load current at RL equal to RL max, IL will be equal to IL minimum and IL minimum is when IZ is equal to IZM that is the maximum Zener current. So therefore, we also determine IL minimum which is IR minus IZ maximum and the ratio of V0 and IL minimum, V0 and IL minimum is going to give us the maximum value of load resistance. Uh, to determine all this, we are given with IZM, we are not given with IR. In here, we are given with IZK and IR is what we need to find out. So we can simply apply the formula VI minus VZ by RS, that is VI minus VZ divided by RS is the IR. So if we determine that, we can determine IL minimum, IL maximum and thereby we can find out the answer for IL, RL minimum and RL maximum. Now that we are just left with the substitution of all the given parameters, therefore we can find out the range of RL uh, which keeps the Zener diode in the on state. So first let us determine IR, VI minus VZ upon RS. So that is 27.66 uh, milliamperes. Uh, v in is 25 volts, uh, VZ is 12 volts, RS is 470 ohms. So once we have found IR, we are given with IZK and the substitution gives us IL maximum. So that comes out to be 25.66 milliamperes. So the ratio of V0 by IL max is going to give us RL minimum that is 467 ohms. That is the minimum value of load resistance, which is still going to keep the inner diode in the on state. And then we need to find out the IL minimum, which is IR minus IZM which are given, this we have found out and IZM, the minimum value of load current is 1.66 milliamperes. That is when IZ is IZ maximum. So having found IL minimum, we find the ratio of V0 and IL minimum that is going to give us the RL maximum, the maximum value of load resistance till which the Zener diode will be in the on state.